Sergeant Creel's squad goes to work in Star Wars issue 21. So this issue I think is only kind of like a one-shot storyline with these guys. Uh, it's the introduction of the Scar Troopers uh, which were sort of teased last issue and we've seen Sergeant Creel, the guy who leads them, the guy with the green lightsaber leads them. We've seen him in the Nashada story arc where he was pretending to be I think the game master for Gurkha the Hut. Yeah this squad is actually really cool. Each uh, member has a specific role like there's a sniper there's a demo man there's the recon in this issue they are hunting a band of rebels that they force down onto a planet they made their ship crash yeah they go hunting for them and we see this squad in action and it's pretty cool i really like these troopers i think they're really cool storyline is actually pretty cool it makes you kind of sympathize with the stormtroopers a little bit since it's um the whole story is narrated by sergeant creel and how he talks about becoming a stormtrooper trooper and everything so yeah it, it's pretty cool it gives them a little bit more depth than just faceless guys in white armor who can't shoot right and um yeah really cool i really enjoyed seeing this squad work together hunting these rebels and everything and i'm intrigued to see where they go next because i don't think they're involved in the next storyline which is something last flight of the harbinger or something something to do with a massive star destroyer so i imagine they're probably going to give the rebels grief a little bit here and there they're going to like appear every now and then um, i'm totally fine with that i think they'd that it would be really cool is if their storylines were kind of like how the Obi-Wan storylines work in this Star Wars book how every couple of issues these guys come in and we see like one of their missions or we see them piecing together a storyline to go after Luke or something I think it would be really cool but uh yeah I'm really intrigued to see more of these guys I'm gonna give this comic an 8 out of 10